Hello everybody out there in YouTube land and the very few people who have tuned in for the stream. How are you? The throat's doing better. We are getting ready for some mystery hour with Kona. I have yet to have time to uh, fix that picture. I'm thinking of like three raccoons in a trench coat, like uh, Ruckus said uh, yesterday. So, okay. Let's get moving. All right. Damn, that's quiet. Is the voices that quiet? Like, I'm hoping not. And I'm hoping I'm not as loud. I checked the video um, yesterday, and wow, that was really loud. It says I've been playing for 50 minutes. I know it was like 52. I don't know. Let's get in. Voice is fine. Good. Hey, Doom Lad. So here's what you missed. We are Carl, which may or may not be three raccoons in a trench coat. Uh, I say that because we dig around the trash a lot. We were hired by Hamilton for a job out here in uh, this lake <laughs> where they have brochures that are really uncomfortable to read. And uh, he's dead now. We went to the general store. Press A. The fuck? We went to the general store, and, uh, yeah, he's very dead. I'll, I'll show you the body real quick. Well, under stress, inaccurate, runs shorter distance. I didn't realize I was under stress. All right. Okay, so real quick, here's the body. We have a picture. I, I believe I took a Polaroid of him. Um, hmm. Hamilton's murder. Interesting. It was a case of vandalism. Was... Uh, wow, this is terrible. No, 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 don't throw away. I want to take a look at it. Okay, I took more photos than that. We have some biographies. Oh, this is Carl. I'm a private detective. It pays the bills along with my veteran's pension for my time in Korea. I'm like, it's, it's like 1970, so Korea is about right. Usually I'm hired to track on faithful husbands. But divorces are expensive, so infidelities are scarce these days. William Hamilton hired me. He had a he had a check and many promises, and I really wanted to leave Montreal. And Link Adamipec, Adamapec, frickin' Quebec, is the perfect place to get away. When you want to leave, you leave. <laughs> oh my god, can I get a motivational quote of that? When you want to leave, you leave. Here's Hamilton. Well, I mean, like, here's Hamilton, but, uh... Rich industrialist. Much hated and much loved. Anything that isn't his is in the Manistan region. What? Any Anything that isn't his is in the Manistan region. Does that mean he owns everything outside? He wants... Buying is his only power. Hamilton has complained time and time again of being persecuted. Sometimes he'll say it's the people of the Lake Adamapec. Sometimes the Cree people. Some would say he deserves it. When you exploit people, the least you can do is stay away from them. Alright, well good to know. You know, I've never actually seen this part, so... Cold mystery. The crash. We have a couple of things. There was vandalization. Hamilton. We have a file of his, don't we? Yes, we do. 
client is dead, everything's gone wrong. We have an address here. He was holding this. I guess we'll have to check this out next. I'll wait till 130525 East Rue. Reminds me of something. Hang on, let's go back to our journal again. Uh, I, where's the... Okay, back. That's not the back I wanted. Documents. Let me see the documents again. Yeah, credit card. Uh, 1352. No 1305s here. Okay, well, shoot. Lots of things didn't go the way I wanted it to. Uh, can I steal from the till? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Whatever. Can I steal from the chain? No. Alright, well, I've already seen all what's in here. We've turned on the pumps, I think. So, let's fill the car with gas. And then we're gonna go hunting... Yeah, we're gonna go hunting. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. I switched it on! I switched I switched it on. Look at the door, Jesus Christ. It's cold. Quiet. Okay, this is inappropriate. There we go, that's much better. There we go. Dance in his grave. Alright, let's get that sweet divine nectar of gasoline into our car. And suck on a nutritious cigarette in celebration. That's right, just stick it into the, uh, the cap right there. Just clip it through. Hell yeah. Carl knew straight away where to find the infuriated Gilles Lachance. Any good investigation would have to start there. You know what? Any good investigation is actually going to start way over here. Because we got, I got questions. FBI, I got questions. There are wolf tracks going this way, and they kind of bug me. And just in case I'm going to steal a... Well, I was going to steal a, a, a log. It's everybody's favorite. It rolls downstairs, single or in pairs, runs over your neighbor's dog. Like this dog. Fits on your back. It's good for a snack. Go Gordon Freeman here in a second. Where are the tracks going? Here they are. What? In in a second there. Um. Carl wondered what the hell could that thing be? It looked like a man fossilized in ice. No wolf could have done that. Agreed. Whoa! It's hurting to kind of go look at. Is this messing with my brain? Screw it, Carl. What? All of a sudden, Carl felt like he was pulled inside a world of dreams. A cold, unknown dimension. Somehow, self-control was slipping from his grasp. appearances, this was a hunting log. Better yet, a war diary. Carl, shut up. The beast enjoys long slumbers. 
Its sanctuary seems impregnable. Ice is everywhere. I need to exercise patience and wait for it to come out, to think like a hunter. The beast often invades the settlements bordering the lake. It terrorizes the white people. They never see it coming, but they feel its presence, a cold dread grabbing your innards. The beast excites the wolves, makes them more aggressive. One attacked me. I had to cut its throat. The blade digging into its flesh made the sound of a taut wire. The beast is getting closer to the villagers. It moves at night, bringing heavy snow and strong gusts of winds along with it. I tracked it to no avail. I do not know the white man frozen in the ice. But I do know this. It is the work of the beast. It attacks... Its attack curdle the blood of its victim. White men know nothing of this force of nature. I touch the ice, imprisoning the white man. I saw things, but I do not understand them. What is... What, what does BDSM stand for? Anyway, so good. Cool. Cool. Ghosts. Ghosts. We're right back on the Oberdin. Dog what tag. could these engraved numbers mean? Ah. Uh, A fresh path suddenly appeared before what? Carl. Huh. We're going backwards in time. He's running after something. But that's not my question. Is he running towards a campfire or did he set up the campfire when he got there? He must have set up the campfire when he got there to write the journal. It's a truck. Check out the inside. Carl had that feeling you get when you immerse your frozen hands in hot water. What happened? Now at least he knew who the unfortunate man petrified in ice was. Gilles Lachance, the general store's manager himself. So he's a hunter, huh? Looks like he had a box of fragile. Can I get in here? It's cold. That had to be the worst parking job ever. I've done worse. Who was Carl to judge, though? It may be customary to park like that around these parts. Or not. Let's try not. So... That first batch of ice that we found, I wonder if this is... I wonder if this first batch of ice is like a campfire. So we're looking at a frozen fire here. No, I guess not. Let's warm up real quick. I like how there's a chair here. Just sort of like, eh, you know what? It's cold. I need a nice cold fire or a nice warm fire. I'm just going to set a chair here. Sit down. Relax. Yeah, it looks like a frozen campfire. I agree. Which is pretty bizarre. What freezes a campfire? I want to get a picture of that other... Wolf tracks. This is where the wolf was coming from rather than going to. Okay. Was the wolf running from the beast? In which case, we're going towards the beast, I guess. Good times. I don't like the sound of people rustling in the woods. Playing Call of the Wild really makes me, like, itch. Or twitch. To the sound of things moving around in the woods. I wish I had a gun. in the 
wood lots. I think I brought my own log. Oh shit. I think I'm missing fire starter? Twisted fire starter? Can I at least turn this on? No, but now I have a lantern. Ho ho ho. Um What I need is fire starter. And I kinda wanna do that before I go any further, but I, how did that run out? Consumables. Cigarettes. Locked iron box, which you will consume. Inventory. Log, pliers, hardware, matches. Oh, I just realized I have a weight limit. That's what that means back there. Be careful not to get ski freed. Ski freed. Skit. You're going to have to define that for me. Check out my map. Oh, it actually tells me where I am. Huh. That's actually a pretty big location to be going around in. Well, if I can't save, screw it. Let's grab crow our trusty crowbar and get moving. I lost his tracks. No, no I didn't. It came from this direction. Did you ever play Skifried? You skied down a hill until a Yeti eats you? I I have to admit, I can't imagine people playing that game more than once. And I have not played that game. We might experience our first, first death, which I'm actually kind of okay with. But uh, if we die, we'll just see if we can't find more fire starter to, to help our way along. We'll get some fire starter, twisted fire starter. That's a frozen wolf. Oh, shit. I can't tell. Uh-oh. Uh, hi, boys. Are you... Are you friendly? So I'm guessing not. I got a crowbar. A delicious crowbar. Would you like to eat some crowbar? Here you go. Have a bite of crowbar. Here, eat the crowbar. There you go, boy. Never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Aw. Poor guy's full of crowbar. I guess, um... I guess they like crowbar. I'll make sure they, they get some more of that. Uh, is there any fire starter around here? It was I so cold. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Yeah, well, shit happens. Huh. The Polaroid. Carl's long-standing and faithful ally has seen his share of husbands caught red-handed cheating. There's always something out there waiting to be snapped away. Did you see that? We might die. There are human tracks. Over that direction. How are we doing on heat? Oh, we're gonna die! I could try... I could try and run back. I don't know. What have I really gained? Hell. Survival instincts kicking in. Bottle. I don't want a bottle. I want a fire starter. And my survival instincts are telling me I should run back. Well, I got some heat in me still.
Yep. I agree, Carl. We might not make it. But we'll try. I could warm up with a cigarette. The cold was burning Carl. He would not hold up much longer. He had to warm himself. Thank you for that. Well, uh... <sighs> Ski down a hill until you, a yeti eats you. First. Just take a quick nap. Yeah, that's the brightest thing to do here. You know, I'm just tired. I'm not cold. I'm just tired. Beeline for the fire. Oh, might not make it. Might not make it. Things getting fuzzy. Ah, oh, there we go. There we are. Let's have a nutritious cigarette. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Remember, only you can stop forest fires. They won't fund us anymore. All right. So, I think... A cold mystery. 739, strange vision. So we have this, the crash, vandalism, cold mystery. What else do we got? Hamilton's murder. Some extra ones that we don't know anything about. And some Polaroids. Huh. While I'm here... Where am I on the map? Right there. There's a couple of camps. This is interesting. Hey, there's a... Looks like some kind of... Uh, they don't have a key for it, but it looks like there's some kind of hospital down the way. I wonder if I can drive there. I'm trying to think of getting more supplies. If I'm going to do more of this um, exploration, I need fire starters. Good raccoon. I should be checking for it in the. No, nothing here. Okay, that's a gas tank. Or a yellow submarine. Can I. Ooh, I can interact with wheels. Ah, eh, I interacted it too much. Yeah, you'd think they'd have a lot of fire starter. Where is it? Where is it all? Hello. To open cash register, punch in the price, two numbers minimum. Press sale, turn crank two times, punch the machine if it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, this gas will be $13 first. Um, Hello? Alright. I got the post key. What is this moon dollar bullshit going on here? What the heck is Canada? Oh my god. Go. Oh, yes! The murder weapon. What? What was that doing there, Carl wondered. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. 
Everything made sense now. Did it? Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. It is. That's what happens to ordinary people playing spy. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up, Carl. It is as a citizen of Her Majesty and Freedom Economic Chambers of the World that I must address what follows to the proper authorities. The worst is happening at this very moment. I cannot write at length, but I am requi- requesting immediate help from my country. I believe the free world is in grave danger. A member of my community, the Honorable... Uh, Canada is okay, we have igloos, but we have, we also have Quebec. I'm in Quebec, that's where this is, so, and I was being a little facetious. So, honorable, there's an honorable involved somewhere here. Let's check our documents real quick. I want to check the, um, not the cash register, envelope. Where's the thing with credits? Necklace? Yarp. Mysterious journal. Mysterious journal. Draft letter. Customer credit. I want to see if there is an honorable in here. No. A lot of French. It's Canadian tradition to shit talk Quebec. Eh, we do that with our neighbors. Uh, in Oklahoma, it's really windy because Texas sucks and Kansas blows. So, I guess uh, everybody shit talks their neighbors. Alright, continuing to look for fire starter. Hey! So, I got, uh, we can either go after the wolf again this time, what is that, no, this is trash, or we can check out some place on the map, and below, oh my god, too much light, okay, there we go, so we got a couple of places, a couple of houses, Firestarter is the song by Prodigy, uh, Prodigy, Hey, month, I can tell you just got here. That'll make more sense whenever you watch the YouTube video. Okay. Um, this is the Manistad Sud. We have gas. We have an entire road. This is 750. Oh, I can zoom in. Whoa! Hi! <laughs> cool. Old Reservoir, The Doctor, Bl Bluen, Bernard, Roy, Cabin. The Cabin is where I started. Maybe so. Yeah, I think it is. The Chant. Oh, I've written down people's address. Hamilton. We can go to his address and see what the hell is going on there. That's quite a ways, but we could do it. Or we could explore the whole thing with the wolves. Huh. I have three fire starters. I can start three fires. I could really push it and only have to use like one or two maybe. That might be the best thing to do. Wolves are already always interesting. All right, let's do that. Okay, we got this frozen fire, and away we go. No, no, I'm going the wrong way. This is the where the wolves led to. I, I wonder. I want to take a closer look at that rifle, and hopefully, oh, oh, is his body gone? Uh, I think his body's gone. Nope, his body's still there. All right. 
I want to take a picture now. So this is Giles. Whoa! You look really surprised. You were looking surprised looking that way. Are there any tracks over there of this beast? I don't see anything. There's another frozen fire over here. But I got no trail to follow. Iceman was really busy. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't really feel good using the murder weapon, and I don't really want to go after this wolf. So how about we ignore him as best we can. We can continue doing this. And I'm not lost. I know exactly where I am. I'm lying. I'm lost. Yarp. Sure love that load time. I mean, hopefully the wolf won't be able to load either. What is this? What? What is this? Are you seriously putting up a reed wall? I could slip between this so easy. I'm... I'm insulted. And now there's a rock wall? So, okay. <laughs> they that's, that's how they keep me out, I guess. That's dumb, y'all. Where am I located? I am located way away from where I want to go. I want to go that way, and they put a cave. That is true. There's a cave over here. And another cabin. The cave does well. The cave doesn't check out, so let's try the cabin. Besides, we will freeze to death if we stay out here for too long. I believe I have to go this way to climb up. Eastern and Adamipec. Adamapec. That is not French. I don't know what that is. All right. Let's see. This is Lancha's house. I don't know who you are, Lanches, but unfortunately, I need a place to stay. Native. That's not a good sign. The air was freezing right down to the bone. The pot was cold. And the stew inside wasn't cooked. It's likely that poor Giselle was slow cooking it before she got snapped. What a waste. It just moved here. Okay. Looks like they were painting the whole house. Uh, how about before we do that? We find some place to save or, or something. A camp? Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging cold. Agreed. Agreed. I am looking for some place to warm up. And finding just wood. Why would you have wood but no place to warm up? What gives? The pot was cold. And the stew inside wasn't cooked. Oh hell, let's do this. It's likely that poor Giselle was slow cooking it before she got snapped. What a waste. 
It has a fireplace. Oh, I should have seen that. There's a hand over here. There's the fireplace. Can I warm up in there? No? Shit. Something was hidden under the stairs. You think, Dinozo? Back later. The man grabbed his rifle. Carl felt Giles. a sense of dread in him. Went downstairs. He flipped the, the photo. I don't know why. Maybe it said this beforehand. Bertrand Lachard. Barefoot. There's a Perhaps barefoot woman. their spousal relationship had been cooling down lately. It seemed like secrecy was commonplace in this house. She hit a letter under there. The vision's veil was lifted, and he was back to reality. Yeah, freezing. A reality in which Giselle, Jill's loving spouse, was motionless, frozen in ice. Oh, that was Giles. Mother once told me when I first met Giles that I had picked the brightest bulb of the lot. And as the years fly by, I'm seeing the truth of her words. Always trust your mother's wisdom. That blackmailing scheme is a prime example of Giles' brightness. He's like a small dog. He thinks he's bigger than he actually is. He growls, genuinely thinking he's scary. But everyone knows he can't be pushed. He can be pushed aside with the, just a little kick. Mental note, kick more dogs. It tr he truly believes that he can blackmail Hamilton, <laughs> the big boss himself. It's going to be a long time in hell before my poor Giles can manage to pull off such a feat. After all, Hamilton's a rich, learned, and influential man. Not only is that blackmailing idea bad to begin with, but let's be honest. Giles is on it is way out of his league, but Giles doesn't even know how he t he's actually going to carry this out. Pardon me. I don't even think he would ever... I don't think he ever would. He's just throwing random threats out loud in the kitchen. He says he'll do it eventually, but I know better. Successful blackmailing requires masterful cunning, and Giles is master of nothing. He's a slave and forever will be. I've often looked at the safe he keeps hidden in the fake wall, in which he stores all these incriminating documents he intends to use. And as I and I just can't come to grips with the sheer ridiculousness of the whole thing. Good, let's warm up. Yeah, yeah, let's drama more warm. How did I miss this thing? Really? Losing my touch. That would be the frostbite. So this is uh, Giles's wife, Giselle, was it? Not sure how how. Carl knows Giselle's name, but, I mean, good on him, I guess. Need another drink. Alright. She's looking outside at the beast or something. I want to get a look at her face real quick. Put a face to the name. Blah, blah, blah. I'm cold. I'm hungry. There's a monster coming after me. There's just no satisfying you there. The safe? Yes, I know the safe. We're going to do the safe, but first I want more of this uh, Giselle nonsense. 
the the safe will be a big reveal, right, at the end of the show, because I got like a few minutes. Um, I have a lantern. I just don't know if it works. Let's use the flashlight for now. It's we'll use it until we can't anymore. Oh, that was what she was hiding. Hi, I'm <laughs> yep. I'm smart. I'm <laughs> so smart. I'm a murderer. <laughs> I have yet to find a clock that works. Yeah. Fill up bottle. All right. I have a water bottle. There's some fire starter. Twisted fire starter. And a little bit of wood, nothing fancy. Ow, my head. They got Litten Tea and The Social. They've got Tender Peas, Hoist Tendez, and Atlantic. I love Atlantic. I also love my jar of grass and some resident. All right, let's check out the safe. Warm up real quick. Stick my head in the fire. I, okay. Just, just turn that off. Bertrand Lard Lechant, Bertrand Lechant. 1948. Ah, moving. What a pleasant activity. Of course, you'll find the record player only to find the records weeks later in some random box. The general store, along with several more infrastructures in the area, had been acquired by wealthy industrialist William J. Hamilton. Perhaps the village should be rechristened Hamiltown. That wasn't funny. Founded by Bertrand Lechant more than 20 years ago, the general store, better known as Chez Lechant, is one of Manistan's economic mainstays. Since the passing of its aged owner, however, business wasn't as blooming as it once was. Giles Lachant, inheritor of the humble establishment, had no choice but to sell everything to William Hamilton, the rich, famous businessman who sparked a major controversy last year when he announced the reopening and expansion of his copper mine. As of now, operations at the general store are expected to remain unchanged despite the change of hands. Giles Lachant still helms the register. In other words, Hamilton only knows how to buy things. Okay. Bertrand Lachant, 1984. Let's see what we can do here. Carl had seen that kind of safe before. With its double-layered security system blending letters and numbers, its code couldn't be broken by the common burglar. Okay. Bertrand... What am I doing? B1948. I got it wrong anyway. That doesn't make any sense. This is weird. What kind of safe is this? Nine, four, eight. Mm. I don't get it. Oh, hey. It felt like old people were all these walls could see for years. The Lachances could hardly be blamed for wanting to freshen things up a bit. It's what still... a mess. Clearly, there was some major revamping work underway here. The place looked barely habitable. 
A nice white coating would restore the room to its charm of olden days. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. Yay, cigarettes. They're good for you. Beautiful portrait of Gilles and Giselle, bound together by the chains of conventional love. Yeah. The cross looked after a marriage's well-being and served as a motivator to uphold the priest's sermons calling for more little worshippers on one hand and cautioning against guilty pleasures on the other. What's Indeed, this? the Lachances were still part of the God-fearing generation. Okay. Many boxes scattered about. Carl didn't need to summon his detective training to quickly figure that the Lachances had just moved in. The 1948 is fine, except there's a goddamn letter in the beginning. A nice white coating would restore oh, the room up. to its charm of olden days. It's kind of weird. Like, there is a box full of Harlequin novels. Well, that tells you how the business is doing right there. There's nothing particularly wrong with this narrator, but he just talks at just the wrong time. 1948. So, okay. What if I do it like this? What if I do I teen forty eight? Nope. One letter, three numbers. Hmm. What the <laughs> not what I meant to pull out. Seven three nine something seven three nine. Okay. Let's try Bertram seven three nine. Hey, what do we have here? Not going to say anything, narrator? All right, good. Compromising documents. William Hamilton is a crook. He has been blackmailing everyone in the village, myself included. <laughs> like the infamous Seraphim Padre, who in this, doc in this document is proof of every bribe paid by Hamilton to the federal authorities in regards to the acquisition of his damn mine. The fact that he has used his henchmen to install terror within the village will not sway the tribunals down in Montreal, but the fact that he has been bribing government officials surely will. I can already picture it, making the front page the English are all the same. We will prevail. Written in a different ink. Hamilton is not only a crook, but a murderer. I do not believe in his remorse. I firmly believe that he will pay for his crimes. I do not believe in native magic, but I do believe in their vengeance. Okay. Um. I opened a safe for that. I solved a riddle for that. I think we're done here. That window had seemingly been left open for a while, Carl thought. Given the punishing weather, it couldn't have been intentional. Well, what's intentional right now is getting the hell out of here. And, um... we got about ten minutes. Let's see what else we can do. Let's whip out our trusty map while we're out here in the cold. Jesus Christ is cold. And there's the Lachance store. There's the cave that is closed. Let's get back to our truck. I want to visit Hamilton's place. Um. Thick. I think 
I think if I travel down this way, I can get across to the general store. And we're just basically going to kind of backtrack, because driving with the truck is warmer and gives us more leeway. So let's see here. Uh, that should do it. Whoa, uh, I didn't expect to be pointing that way. Carl's missed the frozen woman before the window, it seems. Uh, no, Carl just did a whole thing about... What? Missing the... That... That's, uh, what's her name? Gisette. Giselle. G J J Z. That's Giles' wife. Ah, hell. I really don't want to do all this shit right now. I just want to get to my nice warm truck. You just stay over there for a while. Be good. I don't want to deal with wolves. Wolfiness. What's this? Oh, hey. Oh, uh, okay. We have treasure. There's going to be treasure, guys. And there's the fire starter. And... Uh, What? Imager was here. Um. I don't remember this here. Was this here when I came through the first time? Please do not break. What am I doing? Oh, I mean, there's the general store, so hey, bonus. A teleporting creek. <laughs> cool kids map. You know what? I used to draw treasure maps when I was a kid. But they weren't based in any kind of reality, so you couldn't actually find anything. Although, I did bury a treasure chest and then later dig it up, and I still have that chest to this day. Okay. Um. Yeah, I kind of... Kind of want to... Get into my car, and I want to check out Hamilton's place. There we go. Nice and toasty. Did you dye them with tea to make the maps look old? I did. But all it did was was make the map smell like tea. Like it didn't actually tinge anything. Although I eventually figured out that if you took like paper bags that you use for um, for like groceries and uh, and pull that off and use ink instead of pencil, it, it actually looks a lot cooler. Okay, let me see real quick. Basically, we just take the road and we head north for a long ass time until we reach Mount Hamilton's. Um, I can't see how much fuel we have, but it should be fine. Uh, oh, I'm going the wrong way. Oh well, <laughs> who's gonna know? Let's head this way. This should take us to the doctors. This should give us some medical supplies. That'd be nice. We'll throw it in the back of our truck. It's not stealing if they're dead, right? Whoa, 10 miles per hour. I agree. Look at this rickety ass bridge. Oh, this. this not, not happy with that. We are now in went Western Adamapec. Hey, there's the hospital. Let's check that out. K 
Can we, in fact, drive upstairs? Should bake the paper for some time. That's not a bad idea. No, it's not letting me. Okay, question. You're in an emergency, right? You're, you've got an emergency. Shit's going down. You're like, oh god, oh god, oh god. Can, can we turn off the car? T turn off the car? Wait, no. Can we turn off the car? Maybe save some goddamn gas? Where's the turn off the car button? Oh, okay, fuck it. Get out. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, you're in an emergency. You're like, oh, God, I can't move my leg. Uh, I will drive as best I can to the hospital here in Adamapec. And you drive up, and you're like, oh, shit. Drag, 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 pain, 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 drag, drag. Can I at least get... A, a wheelchair? And you say, yeah, sure, here's your wheelchair. Oh, I still got stairs, fuck! It's probably cold enough that you would need a block heater to... Oh, hey, yeah, that would be a good point. Fuck, man, this is too easy. Hmm? That's weird. Sure, I'll take a log. And some fire starter. Uh... Am I just here to rob the place? Hello? I was gonna knock on the door. It doesn't look like anybody's dead yet. In an outhouse. Um. Okay. In spite of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. Well, I mean, physician's office wouldn't have... 20 goddamn steps to climb with your broken leg. There should be a law forbidding doctors from falling sick. Medical emergency in town. The doctor there is sick. I'll be back soon. If he dies, I won't be returning. I'll have to replace him. <sighs> cool. Let's, uh... Alright. Um... We have been going for 57 minutes, so I'll tell you what. This seems like a pretty good place to stop for now. And uh, we've, we've learned a couple of things. We've learned that there's some paranormal bullshittery going on in the Adamapec uh, Lake, in the Manistan place. Carl, the three raccoons in a trench coat, are still learning the discovering even who the murderer of Hamilton is and uh, we've also learned that Giles was trying to blackmail a blackmailer by showing how he blackmailed everybody else uh, oh yeah uh, wizards and wolves cool I'd say that seems like yeah, this seems like <laughs> Carl sounds like a moron he's three morons three morons in a trench coat uh, this, this We've still made some progress. I, I, I can't wait to see where this is going, and I don't think I've seen much of a detective game like this that's so open-ended. Although, the narrator is sort of... Meh. I might put up a poll asking if I, on my Twitter asking, hey, do you want me to shut off the narrator? But eh, he's sort of figuring things out for us. I don't know. Is that even an option? Let me, before we leave... Audio options. Mm -mm. Oh, narrator, f narrator frequency. Play all, important only. We can only do the important stuff or the everything. And you know what? Um, I have no way to do a poll. Not really. Well, we'll figure it out. In the meantime, Doomlad says important only. What does Month think of that? Come on, fight, fight! You can make a paw, but it will at least take nine months.
Eh. In any case. Let's go ahead and call this an episode. So, thank you very much for showing up. Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Thanks to Month and Doom Lad who showed up and anybody else who might be stalking in the background and anybody who's watching the YouTube videos. And, uh, yeah, I'll just be moseying on along and, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>